uncharacteristically warm and sunny London day, the sort of weather that makes you think, I not only want to get out on my bike, but I take my, uh, take my kids with me too. And I'm joined here by Ben Addy from the Sustrans uh, charity. And Ben, you're here to talk me through the kind of range and the options we've got, which kind of in age go from about nine months to about, I guess, nine years or even more. So let's start. This, this is a seat you'd probably start out when you first take your child out. This is what, from about, what, nine-ish months when they can hold their head, more or less? Yeah, once they can hold their head up, they feel comfortable, you feel comfortable with having them on there. They can have them sitting in front of you, you can put your arms around them, so you're holding onto the handlebars and they're sort of nestled snugly in between you. And this has got this quite nice snazzy thing here. What, what, what's this little kind of lectern for? I guess it's just for them to sort of grip onto um, or just to take a nap. They tend to fall asleep quite easily. Oh, of, so they just fall yeah, forward onto that. It's rest like their padded. face on it. It looks very comfortable. In terms of the younger kids, it's a perfect start, isn't it? Oh yeah, and it's a really great way if you're a bit nervous about getting on the road with them. It's a really nice way that's, you know, you just sort of... see them. Yeah, and holding them in your arms virtually. It's not the most comfortable riding position in the world. I have to have my knees splayed a little tiny bit. And his head is to kind of get a bit against my chest, but I used to ride with this kind of uh, seat with my son when he was this kind of age. And it's nice because your arms are around them. It's a very secure feeling. They can see where they're going. They can ping the bell if they want. They soon learn how to do that. And I think it's a really good introduction to getting them being on the bike. I mean, he's 18 months now. You could certainly keep him on this till he's... Is that little dog? Yeah, you saw a dog. You could certainly keep him on this till he's about two and a half or something like that and then move him onto one of the bigger back seats. Now this is the kind of next stage up isn't it? Yeah exactly this is the one that we use with our three-year-old. It's really substantial it sits at the back. And this is what kind of from about two-ish up, uh, upwards? Yeah exactly once they get a bit big and they want to transition from the front one yeah this would last you through to about four maybe even five depending on the size of the child. And it's very secure with straps and um, foot restraints. It's comfortable for long distances. In fact, so comfortable they tend to go to sleep quite a lot. Yeah, right? exactly. And some models come with a sort of reclining function. Wow. Um, this one's got little springs. So that really bounces yeah. Yeah, up and down the uh, curbs and stuff like that, and so. speed bumps. And the one thing I noticed that moving from having the child on the front to on the back, it's a different balance. It takes a little bit of getting used to, doesn't it? Yeah, certainly. And, and getting on and off feels a bit awkward sometimes. And so it's about getting that knack down. And uh, You get used to it very quickly. Oh, you do. Though. And it's so worth having the little, little person on the back to chat to. It gets lonely on your own. So it's nice to have, uh, <laughs> it it? have someone to chat with. The first time you ride it, you are aware of having this kind of big pannier-like weight on the back. It's worth trying it on like in a car park or on a pavement somewhere in case you do wobble slightly. But it's perfectly fine, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, you get used to it within the first ride. They don't get such a good a view as they do at the front, but it's still quite nice, they can see what's going on. As you saw, it's really easy to get them into the uh, seat, get them out. And it's worth mentioning that these seats, they've got a big frame around them, so if the worst comes to worst and you do drop the bike, then they're protected pretty well they shouldn't come to any harm. Too much bike riding. And now we move on to something slightly different. This is a rather posh trailer and this one can be set up for either have two younger kids in there or one bigger kid up until they're about, I mean, they say until about six when they get too tall. Yeah. What's the kind of advantages you get from something like this? Well, I think it's so great with this is obviously just a single child. With this one, you can have two different ages, same yeah. age. Um, you can have a child and some stuff to head down to the beach with or some things from the grocery store or even if there's no kids in there and you're just running down to the supermarket you can... A week's worth of uh, groceries, yeah. yeah. exactly. For people that might be a bit nervous about having a child on the back or on the front, it's not having any sort of load bearing on the actual bike itself so the balance is great. Really comfortable, it's got you know mesh and waterproof top so even in the pouring rain on this one it's about a waterproof jacket with this one they're sort of safely cocooned. It's like a portable tent isn't it? It's tent on exactly. wheels. Exactly. As a riding experience, it's just brilliant. It sounds almost obvious this is the most like riding a normal bike. If you are riding a normal bike, you've just got a trailer pulling. And it's very, very easy. It's much easier going up the hills. You haven't got nearly as much weight. The trailer itself is quite light. Even though I have about 30 odd kilos of singing boys in the, in the back. But I guess the tricky thing is you have to be aware that it's not just a bike, it is a bit wider. Because with this, you have to give things a bit more width. You can't nip through, because it feels like you can. Obviously the disadvantage is that even though they're very strapped in and they're in this quite secure shell with a uh, roll bar and stuff, it, it, it's psychologically different not having them within view. But judging from what's going on, everyone seems to be having a good time. Are you okay boys? Are you enjoying it? Right, and now this is another animal altogether. This is 
I guess what you call a kind of cargo bike. And you don't see many of these in Britain, but in Europe, these are really popular, aren't they? Yeah, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, everyone's riding around on these, um, filled with kids, shopping. It's just part of their daily life. And, the, and is that what people do? They just carry the whole family around with them? Yeah, the whole school run in there, sports stuff, books. Um, you can take your kids from sort of really as early as these other examples that we've got over here. Right, like right one year to, or even less than one year. Yeah, absolutely. And up to about nine. And they love it too. I mean, it's such a fun way to get around. Fantastic. And it's also it's quite easy to ride. Yeah, they're really surprisingly nimble. Um, they look like they'd be really heavy and hard to, hard to manoeuvre. But actually, you know, the way it's geared and the way the steering works, it's uh, pretty agile. And this is quite pricey. I mean, these things tend to start about £2,000, but essentially you should see it more as a small car rather than a bike, shouldn't you? It's a, it's a large initial investment, but when you think how many car journeys that's saving you, bus journeys, it really can, in theory, replace your car. Now, this has been the most popular bike so far. The kids just can't help climbing into it. And for me as well, it's great fun to ride. It feels incredibly stable. And we've got two reasonable sized boys in here. One is six. Whoa, right now one is nearly three. And you wouldn't guess you're carrying such a weight. You can see even with these two reasonable sized kids in there, there'd be plenty of room for shopping. I can't imagine a more practical bike. And the whole thing about this, because it's slightly wider, a car won't just try and sneak past. It will try and give you a bit more space. But if you don't want to ride it on the road, then there's something like, like this on a, a country lane or a bridleway or something. It's absolutely fantastic. And they love it. Are you both comfortable in there, boys? Yeah. yeah. And great as it is to carry your kids on a bike, it comes to a point when they ride their own bikes, when they get to be, you know, five, six, seven. But sometimes you're going on a longer journey. And this is where a strange creation like this comes in. It's a recumbent at the front. The child can sit there and pedal along. And then you sit at the back and you steer. It's a version of the sort of tag along, the one that you see that normally oh, yes. you have the bike and then you have the little attachment that, that comes off the back. And this way, they're front and centre. You know what they're doing. You know that they're safe and you can pedal and they can pedal. Um, you can tell when they're not pedalling. <laughs> you can say, come on, pedal. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, it's great. I mean, really exciting, really futuristic looking. It really makes a statement. These kind of things are not meant to be in place of your child learning to ride a bike. They can do that at the same time. Yeah. But it's just for other things, for example, going in traffic or going on longer journeys. Exactly. So you can do it all together and have fun. This has got a slightly stately air, like you're on a kind of, like you're on a yacht and you have to kind of plan your turns in the same way because it's got this big prow that sticks out the front. Because yeah, this is one of the more unusual bikes I've ever seen. We're getting some odd looks. Well, here we go. I'm not sure I'd necessarily like to maneuver this through the middle of town, but on a nice quiet country path, this would be brilliant. So we're both putting the effort in. I frankly don't feel like I'm doing much effort. I think Lenny's actually doing most of the work. Is it you doing the work, Lenny? Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a lot. I thought so. I think with all of these, starting the children up really young is, yeah. a, is a real key, making them feel really comfortable, you being confident and happy in it. But I think it's, yeah, just about getting them in there from a young age, getting them out and about, having fun, wind in their hair. <laughs>